Hey folks, Marty Nowicki with Impact Snap. I want to thank you for your support of Impact Snap, proudly made in the USA. And we're going to go through a step by step tutorial on uh, how to put it together, why it works so well, and why so many of the top instructors around the world are using the Impact Snap. <laughs> When you receive it, obviously it'll show up in uh, packaging and uh, we take the black cap right off. It twists off pretty easily. We slide on the club head. Just a turn or two, uh, tighten it a little bit. Do not over tighten the uh, wing nut there and align the uh, club face up so that it's right in line with the top of the impact snap. The genius of the impact snap, which was uh, invented by my friend Kelvin Mayahira, and I've now run the company for about six years. Uh, there's a square grip where if you think about where you would wear your rings, those rings would go right along the bottom corner of the square grip, latch those three fingers on, and what you'll notice is that that puts the heel pad right on top. That's a feeling that most golfers never really get with their grip. And if most people would actually grip their golf club properly, so we've got ring joints right along the bottom corner, squeeze it, that puts the heel pad right on top. For a full swing, if we think of in terms of uh, the grip being 12 o'clock up here, 6 o'clock down here, 7, 8, and this is for a right-handed golfer, about 8 o'clock, that's where the rings would meet the club, latch on, and that puts this heel pad right on top of the golf club. If we were doing short game, then I don't object to the rings actually going at six o'clock right under the golf club, latch it on, and that then puts the thumb in line with the uh, logo of your grip. That would uh, lend itself to softer shots, more delicate shots, and that's the importance of the grip. Far too often I see people gripping it into the pad itself and as a result there's a gap underneath their pinky. Why the grip is so important is that that pinky has to latch on. It's as if you're playing tug of war uh, holding a rope or holding something without uh, having it pulled out of your hand. Back to the impact snap. So I've got my rings in position that gets the heel pad where it belongs why that's so important is because that allows the wrist to now make the critical movements uh, that are required to really be a good golfer. And only really good golfers do this stuff. So basic motions, as I go through impact, and this is how we like to start with the impact snap. If I just grip it, you'll notice that the ball, the yellow ball is not near my forearm. But as I move my wrists and arms forward, the yellow ball will hit the bottom of the forearm. Critical here is that the right hand, the right palm and the left thumb connect. And then uh, we wrap the fingers on. I don't care if you interlock or overlap or even go 10 finger. Great players have implemented all of those grips uh, in the past and they will continue to implement them in the future. But from address, I simply like to see people swing their arm, arms forward and get a couple basic movements down. I'm Marty Nowicki for Impact Snap. I hope this video helped you. Please leave your comments down below. That helps us to create more content for you. Please hit the subscribe button. Click the bell notification. That way you get notices each time we put out more content. For Impact Snap, I'm Marty Nowicki. Thank you for watching.